Hello and welcome to this video on Ego vs Self-Esteem, Understanding the Difference. In today's world, we often hear the terms ego and self-esteem being used interchangeably, but these are actually two very different concepts. Understanding the difference between these two concepts is crucial for personal growth and building healthy relationships. In this video, we will explore what ego and self-esteem are, how they differ from each other, and how they can impact our lives. We will also discuss practical ways to build healthy self-esteem while keeping our ego in check. So, let's get started. What is ego? The term ego has its roots in psychoanalytic theory, which suggests that the ego is the conscious part of our mind that is responsible for mediating between our unconscious desires, id, and external reality, superego. However, in everyday language, ego often refers to our sense of self-importance and self-centeredness. In this sense, having a big ego means having an inflated sense of self-importance, often at the expense of others. People with a big ego tend to be overly self-centered, self-absorbed, and may display narcissistic tendencies. They often prioritize their own needs and desires over the needs of others, which can lead to conflicts and damaged relationships. On the other hand, having a small ego means having a healthy sense of humility and modesty. People with a small ego tend to be more self-aware and empathetic towards others. They are open to constructive criticism, willing to learn from their mistakes, and have a sense of gratitude for what they have. How does ego impact our lives? Having a healthy ego is essential for our mental and emotional well-being. It helps us maintain a positive self-image, take pride in our accomplishments, and feel confident in our abilities. However, when our ego becomes too big, it can lead to negative consequences such as Damaged relationships People with a big ego often prioritize their own needs and desires over the needs of others, which can lead to conflicts and damaged relationships. Difficulty handling criticism People with a big ego may have difficulty handling criticism or feedback, as it threatens their sense of self-importance. Unrealistic expectations People with a big ego may have unrealistic expectations of themselves and others, leading to disappointment and frustration. Inability to learn People with a big ego may have difficulty learning from their mistakes, as they are unwilling to acknowledge them. Now that we have a better understanding of what ego is and how it impacts our lives, let's take a closer look at self-esteem. What is self-esteem? Self-esteem refers to our overall evaluation of ourselves. It is the degree to which we feel good about ourselves and our abilities. Self-esteem is often measured on a continuum, ranging from low to high. People with high self-esteem have a positive self-image feel confident in their abilities, and are able to handle life's challenges with resilience. They are also more likely to form healthy relationships and pursue their goals with passion and purpose. People with low self-esteem, on the other hand, have a negative self-image and may struggle with feelings of worthlessness, self-doubt, and insecurity. They may also be more susceptible to anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues. How does self-esteem impact our lives? Having healthy self-esteem is crucial for our mental and emotional well-being. It helps us feel confident in our abilities, pursue our goals with passion and purpose, and form healthy relationships. On the other hand, having low self-esteem can lead to negative consequences such as Poor performance, people with low self-esteem may have difficulty performing at their best. Social isolation People with low self-esteem may avoid social situations or feel uncomfortable in social settings, leading to social isolation. Negative self-talk People with low self-esteem may engage in negative self-talk, which can perpetuate feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Mental health issues People with low self-esteem are more susceptible to anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues. Now that we have a better understanding of what ego and self-esteem are and how they impact our lives, let's take a closer look at the difference between the two. Ego versus Self-Esteem Understanding the difference Ego and self-esteem are often used interchangeably, but they are actually two very different concepts. While ego is related to our sense of self-importance and self-centeredness, self-esteem is related to our overall evaluation of ourselves. 
Ego is often associated with negative traits such as narcissism, arrogance, and self-centeredness, whereas self-esteem is associated with positive traits such as confidence, resilience, and self-worth. Ego is driven by external validation, such as praise, attention, and recognition, whereas self-esteem is driven by internal validation, such as self-acceptance, self-love, and self-respect. Ego is fragile and easily threatened, leading to defensiveness, anger, and hostility when challenged, whereas self-esteem is more resilient and able to handle criticism and setbacks with grace and humility. Practical Ways to Build Healthy Self-Esteem While Keeping Our Ego in Check Building healthy self-esteem requires a conscious effort to cultivate a positive self-image, self-acceptance, and self-love. Here are some practical ways to build healthy self-esteem while keeping our ego in check. Practice Self-Awareness Self-awareness is the foundation of healthy self-esteem. By becoming more aware of our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, we can identify negative patterns and replace them with positive ones. Practice Self-Acceptance Self-acceptance means accepting ourselves for who we are, flaws and all. It means acknowledging our imperfections and embracing them as part of our unique identity. Practice Self-Love Self-love means treating ourselves with kindness, compassion, and respect. It means prioritizing our needs and desires while also being mindful of others. Practice Gratitude Gratitude is the practice of acknowledging and appreciating the good things in our lives. By focusing on the positive, we can cultivate a sense of abundance and well-being. Practice Humility Humility means recognizing our limitations and being open to learning from others. It means acknowledging our mistakes and taking responsibility for them. In conclusion, understanding the difference between ego and self-esteem is crucial for personal growth and building healthy relationships. While ego is related to our sense of self-importance and self-centeredness, self-esteem is related to our overall evaluation of ourselves. Building healthy self-esteem requires a conscious effort to cultivate a positive self-image, self-acceptance, and self-love, while keeping our ego in check. By practicing self-awareness, self-acceptance, self-love, gratitude, and humility, we can build healthy self-esteem and live a more fulfilling life. Thanks for watching.